Oh boy, we have a new update coming, maybe soon, to New Horizons. For the Northern Hemisphere, September marks the beginning of the summer to fall season change. And they did say fall update, but maybe I'm getting my hopes up too high for an update in September. Regardless of what will happen, there's an update coming. Nintendo gave us only that, nothing else. Cool. The only thing we know for sure is that Jack is returning to New Horizons, which we've known since the New Horizons Direct at the beginning of the year when it was announced that the game would be getting frequent updates. But that's it. That's all they're giving us. So who is this walking, talking jack-o'-lantern? Jack has been in the series since the beginning, though he was missing from Wild World, because Wild World was weird with holidays. The Czar of Halloween, alright dude, a little bit of a, an ego there, appears once a year on Halloween. The Holiday and his role changed up a bit through the series, but is usually involved with some type of quest in giving out the spooky furniture series. In the original Animal Crossing, villagers would chase you down until you gave them candy. They were dressed exactly like Jack, so you couldn't tell the difference between Jack and your villagers. City folk required the player to dress in a costume that was purchased through Gracie Grace. Villagers in the houses would attempt to trick the player, and the roaming villagers still chased you down for that sweet, sweet candy. New Leaf changed it up a bit again by making the player purchase a mask from the Able Sisters and then entering villagers' houses to scare them. The villagers outside uh, would chase you. So when I say a bit differently, I mean almost exactly the same. If you did not have candy on you and a villager chased you down, they would turn your clothes moldy or your wallpaper and flooring would be transformed into uh, old and yucky. We've already seen the moldy clothing in New Horizons. They'll appear in your recycle bin and resident services from time to time. So this could be a returning feature to Halloween. I also want to see the spooky and creepy series return. I'm interested to see how Nintendo will change up the holiday furniture. Even the Bunny Day furniture got a nice little glow up from New Leaf. The HD-ness of New Horizons just makes everything look so much better. In New Leaf, Jack roamed around your town from October 1st to the 8th. We haven't seen too many big holidays in New Horizons except for Bunny Day, which lasted almost two weeks. And the fireworks, they don't really count because that's like a once a week thing. I could see Halloween working in a similar way as Bunny Day. Hopefully not as in your face. I'd like to see the candy mechanic return. Seeing candy in Nook's Cranny was always an awesome feeling. For me, it was like the epitome of fall in Animal Crossing. Candy started to become available in Nook's Cranny early in the month of October. Every day I saw it there, it just gave me something exciting to look forward to. We know Halloween festivities are definitely happening, but what other holidays or events could return to New Horizons in the fall? Again, sorry, Southern Hemisphere. I quickly mentioned a couple of the early September events in my summer predictions video, like Labor Day for the US and the potential for Weeding Day, but I didn't go deep into the fall events. The Harvest Moon Festival, or Autumn Moon Festival for the PAL region, happened in early September or October. It occurs on the date of the full moon closest to the autumn equinox. New Horizons somewhat celebrated the summer solstice with a crown that you could order from Nook Shopping, as well as the winter solstice sweater for the Southern Hemisphere. I expect at least a new Nook Shopping item. Or hope. Maybe if we just hope really hard, it will happen. In past games, Tortimer and Isabel would give you special items like a model of the moon, which we kind of already have as a crafting recipe, so that probably won't happen, a wheat bundle, and a veggie basket. We also got a pretty cool moon to look at in the sky, so I expect a pretty cool moon to show up during the night. The sports fair was an event that happened in the GameCube version at the beginning of fall. The villagers would play mini games like tug of war and a foot race. With the amount of times I see villagers running around and lifting weights or doing aerobics in the plaza, this holiday already happens every day. The jocks would love it, but it doesn't seem significant enough to be added as its own event. Acorn Festival is an event that appeared in Wild World, where you could collect acorns scattered around the town. Pretty insignificant, except for the fact that Cornimer is the goddamn mascot. This would be the only acceptable way to introduce Tortimer to New Horizons. Again, it wouldn't work for the Southern Hemisphere, of course, but when do any of the events actually work for the Southern Hemisphere? And some of the rewards are already crafting recipes in the game, but Cornimer! Oh my God, look at him! Explorer Day is a holiday exclusive to North America, which takes the place of Columbus Day in the US and is also the same day for Thanksgiving in Canada. The event was present in the original Animal Crossing, City Folk, and New Leaf, so there's a very good chance it could return to New Horizons. Tortimer and Isabel both presented the viewer with a model ship in their respective games. New Leaf also featured a cardboard cutout for players to take pictures with, which honestly I'm surprised hasn't returned to New Horizons. With the photo sharing feature built into the Switch, it seems like a no-brainer. Maybe the developers didn't feel like we took enough nice pictures to put the cardboard cutouts back in the game. 
We've already seen region exclusive holidays like Japan's Tanabata celebration, so this wouldn't be completely impossible. Finally, we have the Harvest Festival, which happens in November. It's supposed to take the place of North American Thanksgivings, but it's available worldwide. In early Animal Crossing games, Franklin played hide and seek with the players because he feared Tortimer invited him to the town to become food. In New Leaf, Franklin gave the player fetch quests to find secret ingredients so he could cook dinner for the entire town. He gave the player pieces of furniture from the Harvest series upon quest completion. The developers have turned down the passive aggressiveness of villagers over the years, so I doubt Franklin will be afraid for his life this time around. I could see another fetch quest-esque mission for Thanksgiving though. Either way, there should be food. I like food. The fact that the Southern Hemisphere didn't have much for fall doesn't help push many of these fall events. I want more events, more random items to look forward to, and more special characters that show up on their own. Like Katrina! On Halloween and the GameCube Animal Crossing, Tortimer gifted us Katrina's tent model. I'm probably reaching, but at least Katrina was linked to the fall in some way. I kind of miss having the luck mechanic. I would be crazily surprised if Katrina and fortune telling never showed face in New Horizons. She's been in every mainline game as well as Happy Home Designer and Pocket Camp. There's no way she can't appear in New Horizons at some point. Now for the data mine information. If you do not want to be spoiled, skip ahead to the timestamp listed here. I'll throw the timestamp in the description as well for easier clicking. Okay. First, vegetables. Ninja had data mined some possible vegetable code in the past, and with the recent summer update, new vegetable language was added. This is becoming more prominent, and obvious that there could be a huge vegetable-related mechanic coming soon. What purpose would they have besides being a crafting resource? I guess maybe decoration? It just seems like a lot to add for something pretty to look at. But then again, Ninji does mention a new bush in the same tweet, and that's just something pretty to look at. But I, I want more. If they aren't crafting resources, then maybe they have something to do with the Harvest Festival? We've had to find secret ingredients from villagers in New Leaf, so maybe these are simply items that villagers give us to complete quests for Franklin. I'd be super disappointed. I've been looking forward to cooking some crazy combinations and force feeding it to my most hated villagers. <laughs> We also have yet to see the cafe. I'm gonna stick to my guns and say that this should be a winter edition, especially if the vegetables add a huge cooking mechanic in the fall. Two large updates in one season seems too good to be true. I think they'll split them up between months. In the summer video, I mentioned this possibly being part of a winter update since hot drinks and snow are kind of the perfect mix. Don't hate me, Southern Hemisphere. I'm sorry. I know gyroids have been data mined as well and might be included with the museum update, but what else would the cafe add if not gyroids? In New Leaf, there was a whole mini game where you worked behind the counter and had to remember what type of coffee each villager liked. Did anyone ever actually remember any of that? I just looked it up every time. Far too many to memorize. I can definitely see additional held items being added to the game like a, a mug of coffee or a cup of tea. The lack of information makes me think that this update is either going to be huge and add new mechanics that Animal Crossing hasn't yet seen, or is so small that it's just Jack and Franklin with an Autumn Solstice exclusive limited time item. I have faith that the developers will add some cool stuff, and more special characters that we don't already know are going to return. The devil's advocate part of me feels like they won't add anything crazy, but I never expected terraforming to be a part of the series, and yet here we are. What do you think will be included in the fall update? Southern Hemisphere people, give me your voice. What do you want for the spring? Hit that subscribe button so you can see me upset when Nintendo invalidates this entire video in a week, and I'll see you next time. Bye!